welcome to the simple life where we break it down and make it simple every day so in this video we are going to be doing a flashback from the past and i'm going to be using this as a visual representation so subscribe give this video a thumbs up and click on that bell notification so you're notified every time i post a video like this now this beauty and her mother her mother's link is in the description box she, they came from maryland if i'm not mistaken to see me and they were amazing but let's get into it what am i doing right now i am taking her hair from alpha keratin which is her hair in its natural state to beta keratin which is the new state that i am setting it in until her hair is wet again with water right so our hair is made up of three bonds that's what you're looking at right now the salt bond the disulfide bond and the hydrogen bond the hydrogen bond is the one that i'm breaking today the salt bond is the bond that she's been damaging the salt bond and the hydrogen bond is the bond that she's been damaging with her practices and we're going to talk about that right so her hair came out absolutely beautiful and after she washed her hair her curls bounced right back now one of the main concerns or main issues that women with naturally curly hair have is it's so hard to tangle detangle their hair everything that i'm saying now i tell my clients in person and as you can see they are smiling from the time they sit down and to the time that they leave but for one you should never allow your hair to get tangled in the first place if you are a person who has really really thick hair your patterns and routines need to be in such a way that your hair is never allowed to get matted and tangled and the fear of combs the fear of brushes and the fear of any type of manipulation that doesn't involve slathering the hair with products is something that most women with naturally curly hair are like barred down with in the mind right it's almost like a, a mental thing that has just been put on top of black women where there is shame if you pick up a comb shame if you pick up a brush shame if you pick up a blow dryer right shame if you pick up a flat iron and this is not something that's coming from me this is coming from the clients that I do one-on-one -on -one consultations with the hundreds of women within the seven-day challenge and these are conversations we have right when I detangled her hair I detangled her hair with oil oil on my hands her hair she was not in pain there is no breakage anything like that okay so that is something that I want you to understand I do never ever ever detangle hair wet ever I only detangle hair dry so now what you are going to see me do is comb this leave-in conditioner through her hair there is a difference between combing and detangling and it is imperative that when you shampoo the hair you are really really cleansing the scalp when you look at the human scalp right and you really really break down oils and what natural oils live in the scalp nobody can really give you an explanation to why you're actually putting oils in the scalp and i really 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 encourage you to infer with the people that you're getting information from and ask them a question and get them to break it down scientifically why does this oil that i am buying from you do more for my scalp than the natural oil that is coming from the follicle these are questions that you need to ask yourself right and you don't have to take my word for it i just really want you to sit down research things like the sebaceous gland research things like sebum then look at all of the different bacterias and forms of yeast that are in the human scalp click the link in the description box because i gave you a video giving you 20 out of a thousand different species of bacteria that live on the human scalp right and this is something that i really want you guys Guys to understand right now what you're looking at on the screen is one of my customers right one of my customers and clients she booked a one-on-one -on -one consultation for her daughter because her daughter was experiencing extreme balding and after she took the blue baldock root and did the things that I told her to do which are the same things that you would get in the seven-day challenge her daughter was able to go from a, these ball spots to the hair 100% grown back in 30 days you saw it coming from her
So this is information that I present to you guys, not to brag or boast, but to put visuals with it. Because for me, I am a visual learner, right? I can read and all of that stuff, and that is great. But I am also a visual learner, even after I read things before I take tests to get certifications and degrees and stuff like that. I literally would put it in a form that makes it so I can visually see what I am putting in my head. Like I would have to write it down so it'll lock in so I understand that a lot of people need visual representations of what I'm saying as I'm round brushing her hair I want you guys to think about the fact that most of the videos that you watch people are like brushes are bad combs are bad and all of that stuff what I need you to do while we're standing here look at my round brush now YouTube has a feature where you can zoom in right you can zoom in where you can get a really really good view of what's going on I did this for over a decade, well over a decade. So y'all, when I say I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. And when you think about it, think about the amount of hair that is in your brush just from you detangling your hair in the shower. I don't even have half of that amount of hair, half of half of that when I get done round brushing my client's hair. So that is why I make videos like this to show you guys that it's all about the techniques that you use. And the better your technique is, the less brush breakage that you'll have and all of those things when you are straightening your hair you are not being ashamed of your natural curls you know why the majority of the planet has curly hair black women just have the curly is hair but everybody almost every race has curly hair you guys and this is why it's something that I want you to understand there are different maintenance practices that you have to follow because so much is given much is required and the more sulfur to sulfur linkages you have within your hair the curlier your hair is what you're looking at are the different layers of the cuticle right there are different layers to the cuticle so the more product you put on the hair shaft the more you block the cortex the cortex is where your melanin lives the cortex is where all of those sulfur to sulfur linkages that are making your hair curly so when you do team natural stuff that uh, requires you to leave your hair wet for long periods of time right when you're required to leave your hair wet for long periods of time what you end up doing is damaging that cuticle layer and when you damage the cuticle layer there is nothing protecting the cortex and when there's nothing protecting the cortex all of those softer to softer linkages right that are making your hair curly they can leave the melanin can leave you'll notice your hair looks duller it'll look weaker that's why there are certain people who have not put any type of heat whatsoever in their hair for over a decade and still their curls will change and look like they have heat damage that is because you guys damage the cuticle layer of the hair shaft heat does not damage hair if it's done properly relaxers do not damage hair if they're done properly color does not damage hair if done properly but the problem is most of the time everybody thinks that they can do it themselves so it's not done properly and that's the truth of the matter just like with relaxers remember that when half of uh, black women in america was getting in on these lawsuits to sue relaxers and they won the case but the man the lawyer who had all of these black women suing got millions of dollars and all of these black women were getting ten dollar checks twenty dollar checks this is something that I really want y'all to understand. I want y'all to realize when you're being played. I want you to really pay attention to the things around you and the things that go on around you so that way you're not easily manipulated. As long as you follow the right procedures, it is not a problem straightening your hair. At this point, when I'm straightening her hair, now I am using a heat protectant, right? The heat protectant, all the products that I use, I'm going to leave in the description box. And you can track the lower left hand corner and all of the products that I use are there, right? Mm -hmm. So as I am a flat ironing her hair, oh yeah, I'll put the flat iron up too. I always forget to put the flat iron and the blow dryer up. I'll put that up too. But you guys, as I am a flat ironing her hair, 
I am not damaging her hair in any way, shape, or form. And I want y'all to think about it. The time that it's taken me to do her hair from beginning to end, and this is also what a lot of women within the seven day challenge are learning as well. Most of the time they're in their head manipulating their hair for about eight hours. Like it'll take eight hours to do your twist outs and all of your team natural stuff. And then your hair is drying for three days versus when they change all of their patterns, they change all of their routines right they're in their head for less than two hours multiple people within the seven day challenge are like i cannot believe i spent all of that time in my hair i cannot believe i was slathering my head in all of that oil and now that i haven't been using oil for less than seven days i can visually see see them I never needed oil. These are not words that are coming from me. These are words that I'm repeating to you. And on my channel, I'm just presenting information, baby. You can either take it or leave it. It is what it is, right? I'm just here to help. Don't shoot the messenger, baby. Do what you want to do. Swim in your oil if that's what you want to do. But I'm telling you, you don't need it. And you are causing inflammation, which leads to things like serpentine, dermatitis, and dandruff. Because first, there is a trigger. First, there is a trigger, then there is inflammation. Just like, let's let's stop talking about hair for a minute. Let's talk about the brain, dementia, right? Dementia is inflammation of the brain. But before there was inflammation of the brain, there were triggers. And most of the triggers are linked to food and things of that nature. But there was first a trigger that led to the inflammation of the brain that led to the ending thing that is dementia it is the same thing for your hair right but for your hair it'll be the trigger being oil right so let's say cerberic dermatitis we have cerberic dermatitis that is the follicle disorder that you have that is caused by inflammation but what caused the inflammation hmm oiling the scalp putting butters on the scalp or it can be an internal trigger right you can have a liver that is full of too many toxins and when the liver can't do its job your skin then becomes your second liver so then there it starts to your body starts to expel toxins and everything through the skin since the liver can't do it so the cure in that case would be something like i said my buttock blue which is able to cleanse the liver and not only is it able to cleanse the liver is able to cleanse the kidneys and help the kidneys do their job at cleansing the blood i break it down in a video that i'm going to leave in the video description box below but that is the basis of it so when everybody like years ago was like oh forget hairstylists you don't need a cosmetology license or all of that it was a whole era most of the cosmetologists left and now you guys are stuck with people who are just kind of playing in hair and for that reason you don't have the science and that's what you need that's what's lacking right that's what's lacking what you just saw on the screen was somebody within the seven day challenge that was like listen if you own you know a fixed income you can still do the seven day challenge because you can start it for twenty dollars what are you talking about <laughs> again check all the information link in the description box below add it to your cart the seven day challenge and then scroll all the way down right when you get ready to put in your car information don't put the car information in keep scrolling and then click on that sizzle button and then follow the directions on the screen. You can start the seven day challenge for as low as like $25, right? So again, I am still flat ironing her hair. I don't know if I told you guys, but this video is six years old. This again was the same year that I retired. And this was the year it was really hard, right? Because I was meeting so many amazing women, right? So many amazing women, like the beauty here in this video. Her and her mother were a breath of fresh air like from beginning to end i so vividly remember their energy right i really 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 vividly remember their energy that's why when i did her mom's video and we were at the premiere um this beauty was in the premiere and i i remembered where they were from 
so you know like six years ago really all the clients I have in one day was my first and only time meeting them and I remember where they were from they were oh beautiful inside and out and the thing is when I say oh I hate team natural and stuff I'm not saying oh I have a problem with women who do team natural things no I have a problem with the mentality that it has created right the mentality that it has created that has taught you that the actual right way to do your hair and to create and to have proper maintenance on your hair is the wrong way and it's something that you have to be ashamed of and it's like instead of it making it so you have more pride in your hair in all forms it made you ashamed if you don't wear your hair specifically the way that it grows out of your scalp when no woman on the face of this earth really wears her hair the way that it was grown out of their scalp nobody wakes up with the way that they breath grew out of their throat okay you go get a toothbrush and you get that sleep out your eye every morning anyway <clears throat> So now we are looking at the damage. When clients booked with me, this is what they came for, right? Because I was all over social media and this is what they saw. So they were like, oh my God, I already straightened my hair myself and I already saw this, get it all off. So I was just confirming with them. So I'll, even though it looks like I'm cutting a lot, I actually didn't cut enough. What I want you to look at is that cone shape on the left hand side. On the left hand side, that is where the majority of our breakage is. But as you can see, if I would have went all the way up to the top of that cone, we would have lost a whole lot more hair. So that's why we just decided to do it like this. And then I went ahead and gave her some layers. And by me giving her layers, I was able to get most of those splits out. But what you're seeing on the screen right now is not my client at all. If you're looking for a good hairstylist, I do not know this woman, Harpo. I do not. I know this woman okay but as you can see she dope and she know how to get the job done but this is one of the people from my website join my website join my free groups links in the description box and she was team natural as well went to straighten her hair and this is what she saw so she had to get it all cut off even and this is that was present day in 2024 this video you're watching right now was six years ago so I say it all the time in all of my videos, but again, I like to give y'all a visual representation because I have a bunch of talking head videos coming, but I like to be able to show you what I'm talking about instead of sitting down and being like, I was tired of doing hair because everybody had the same problem and nobody wanted to listen and this, this, and that. I want to visually show you, but again, the women who make it to my channel are not the women who didn't want to listen. Okay. The women who didn't want to listen you don't see even the next video that I'm going to post is going to be the one who didn't let me cut anything but she was in the military so in Vegas I had it's a it's a melting pot so there are so many different type of people and I had a whole lot of clients that were in the military and my clients that were in the military they always had their hair in ponytails they had to for work so they had extreme breakage because they were at work all day, every day. And all they did was slather their hair with product and put it in ponytails. So they ended up having a, a lot of breakage. And listen, I don't have nothing to say, girl, you're fighting for me and, and fighting for me in our country. Listen, because I ain't going to do it, girl. I fight for nobody. So if you don't want to cut nothing, girl, you got to cut nothing. But yeah, at this point, I am just going through and making sure everything is even. We just ended up kind of doing like... A, a a long like a lob like a like a lob with a couple of layers and I was able to get rid of everything but again on my channel that's what my channel was about my channel was not about just randomly giving people haircuts and just just randomly hey come in and I'm gonna cut your hair no people sought after getting rid of this damage so it's this the the things that i'll talk about now on my channel i've always talked about and i've been talking about for years i'll never stop talking about it i'll always have the same type of intensity that i had the first time you came on my channel so if you stop watching because you thought i was too intense don't come back i'm still intense baby you know what i'm saying so anyway um at this point we are pretty much done getting the damage off and i'm just making sure everything's good everything is taken care of because it's not like 
she can come back in a couple of weeks and I can get everything together. No, her and her mommy live in Maryland and they made a trip out of it. And I thought that, oh, they they were already coming to Vegas and they was like, oh, Sam lives here. No, they were like, we here to see you, girl. We here to see you. So I'm bending her hair under seal. I have not put any serum on her hair whatsoever. No, the only thing that is on her hair is a leave-in conditioner and heat protected. That is it. We're not, you don't have to slather your client's hair with product. You don't have to do that. You do not have to do that. Your the, the human hair shaft has a natural luster. The sebum coming from your scalp is a waxy substance. And when we heat it up with the blow dryer, <laughs> it's easy to glide it down the hair shaft. This is why scientific brushing is so important because once you shampoo the scalp, the hair is the hair in the scalp is free and it doesn't all have to be done with the blow dryer within the seven day challenge watch the last video link in the description box i put on the screen where i showed you a lot of the women in the seven day challenge are doing roller sex flexi rod sets perm rod sets you have so many options you do not have to blow dry and flat iron your hair but to straighten your hair to trim it you should and your hair will not break off as long as it's done properly, your curls will revert back and you can have a routine and a pattern that calls for healthy hair. Another thing I want you guys to see, my client does not have edge control on. I never slather my client's edges with edge control because edge control is a polymer that's water based. And if I put water in my client's hair, the curls are going to revert back. So I didn't use the edge control. You guys, you just get the edges super straight and then I will use either hairspray or like the same heat protectant and I would just spray it on the comb and comb over the edges and then it lays it flat like that. Hair products are never slathered in the hair in the hair salon ever. We never slather products on. That's some YouTube stuff, y'all. Products are tools and you're never supposed to overuse them. You're never supposed to pack them in the hair shaft because remember how thick and luscious her hair is. This is how it straightens out. It's still thick and luscious straightened out, but it's not super like her strands are not super, super duper thick. Her strands are actually on the finer side. So if I would have put a bunch of oil or a serum or anything in her hair, it would have made it stringy. But, you know, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this video how do you think her hair turned out beautiful if you are watching this video thank you and your mommy for coming and seeing me it was so amazing meeting you and you beauties like you are the ones that made it hard for me to leave the hair industry when i did glad i did but you and your mama women like you and your mama made it hard her hair turned out absolutely beautiful and just to let you guys know me me running my fingers through that hair and combing and stuff through that hair was part of the deal right that's what they was there for that's what they signed up for they was like oh i can't wait to send out running her fingers through my hair that's they was there for that okay so don't be asking why you keep running your fingers because they liked it they liked it it is Mm -hmm. so this is cute but again um if you have any video requests if you have anything that you're dealing with that you want me to address in video form leave it in the comments below and i'll either send you a video link because i probably already talked about it or i'll let you know how to sign up for the challenge i love you guys so much give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment and until the next video bye <laughs>